Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the People Show. Check the Pulse of Rescue Nation. Brought to you by the Rescue Spy in a Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, I have not shared a story on this show for quite a while. So this show, uh, I discovered when I went back and looked, has been going on for five years now. It's gone by fast, so thank you for your support. Hopefully we can keep this bad boy rolling going into the future. So I appreciate that. But when I first started the show, man, I was sharing story after story after story after story. And I got a lot of stories. I ain't had a problem. But I was like, man, if I, I want this show to keep going for years and years, I can't blow through all these stories like a first timer on his wedding night. So I was like, man, I got to chill out for a little bit. And then it dawned on me, man, it's been like two or three years since I shared a story on this show. So anyways, like I said, I got a million stories in the bank. You know, that's not a problem. So, sometimes the problem is what's appropriate, what's not. You know, what's going to make certain people look good, what's not. Will they like it? Will they not? Uh, you know, the program, so on and so forth. Well, this story's about me, okay? So I'm pretty sure the person involved in the story is okay with me sharing it because it's about me. So it's about my first ever, uh, not practice in, in spring ball because it was my sophomore year, but my first ever time running with the ones on defense. All right, so my, my first year I redshirted. My second year I was a redshirt freshman. Going into my sophomore year, that was the winter conditioning from hell. And I've talked about it before. Basically, Bill Callahan came in. He's used to 53 guys on a roster. All of a sudden, he walks into a room with 180 guys, freaks out, wants to get everybody to quit, tries to really, really, really downsize the walk-on program, successfully succeeds because he puts us through the winter conditioning from hell. And I'm a guy who likes to work out. And it was still from hell. Anyways, I digress. I've talked about it before. Not going to belabor that point. If you haven't heard the story, go back and search it. So anyways, he got a lot of guys to leave and quit. But going into that spring ball, going into my sophomore year, Bernard Thomas was a senior, crunk juice, if you remember him. And he was the odds-on favorite to start at the other defensive end spot. He had to earn the job, but he was the odds-on favorite. The, the other defensive end spot was wide open. A lot of young guys. There was myself, there was Jay Moore, a lot of other guys who'd come in uh, with us, before us, whatever the case may be. So who was going to start? You got to start somebody day one. Who is it going to be? And I felt like I'd done really, really well that winter conditioning. Uh, I earned the lifter of the year trophy that year. And I, I don't say that to brag. I only say that because I'm extremely proud of it. It's displayed in my home all the time. But I, I only bring that up because I think that made an impression on the coaches. What, you know, um, I love, love working hard, trying to earn my spot. So the coaches like, we're, we got to start with somebody day one. You're an inexperienced, snot-nosed punk. They didn't say punk, but you know, uh, they said rookie, which I was a sophomore. But anyways, uh, but rookie as far as big time playing time. So we're going to start with you. You got to earn it. Spring ball, fall camp, but we got to start with someone. You've done well in wear conditioning. Here you go. You got to earn it now. So I'm like, anybody who knows me knows my lifelong dream. I was really good at baseball growing up, but it wasn't to play Major League Baseball. I'm a big time WWE fan, but it wasn't to be a WWE wrestler. It wasn't even playing in the NFL. It was to play football at the University of Nebraska, start on defense. Well, two plus two equals four. My lifelong dream was to be a black shirt at the University of Nebraska. When I got this news, I was like, yes, here's my opportunity. Here's my chance. My lifelong dream is going to come true. Hopefully, I got to earn it, you know, but going into that first spring practice, there's no pads, okay, but we're doing twos versus ones, so the one defense versus the two offense, eventually as we get into pads, we go ones versus ones, but that first practice, the left tackle wasn't phenomenal I was going against, but man, I was hyped, I was super hyped, and I'll never forget the first play, I fly off the ball and I trip and fall flat on my face, just, the stupid black beads were everywhere, they're all up in my nose, my mouth, my mouthpiece, I couldn't get them out of my not in my eyes, but around my eyes. My D-line coach is yelling, get up and run to the ball. And I'm like, well, that wasn't a great start. The second play happens. And no disrespect to this left tackle, but he wasn't phenomenal. He shouldn't be pancaking me. He don't work at IHOP. I don't work at IHOP. Nobody should be getting pancakes around here. Now when it comes to me, not. Anyways, he pancaked me. Great. The defensive line coach is just staring at me. Just like, oh my God, what have we done? And I'm like, great. So we got four plays. Ones go for four plays. Twos go for three. I was like, oh, I'm screwing this up. The third play, I actually managed to make a tackle in the backfield. Well, I tagged off. We're not in pads. The fourth play, they threw the ball. I actually got a sack. Now, you can't touch the quarterbacks. They're not in pads. And they're pretty little green jerseys. So, again, it was a tag off. I remember my D-line coach going, just looking at me like, in his eyes, it was like, okay, maybe you don't absolutely suck. <laughs> That's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Humble beginnings. Throw the bow. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.